hey my collective lovies welcome back to another video so today while i was shuffling the cards divine masculine and divine feminine came out so i feel like this is the overall energy for this particular reading um somebody here could be dealing with their divine feminine or their divine masculine um i feel like for whatever reason i feel like something may be getting in the way of you two um as far as communication or something here may make you a little bit divided um maybe you're just not able to find common ground on a certain situation um something like that so let's go ahead and dive in and see what's going on here but for some of you you've met a divine feminine or a divine masculine and you're actually happy so i'm feeling a mixture of energies remember these are um general readings and this is for all signs all placements so just take the energy as it resonates, lovies. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't try to make it fit. Um, then that's what may be your story, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in and see what this is all about. I'm sending you my love and positive energy. Thank you guys for being here with me. And for all you do for our new channel, thank you for remembering to like the videos. It keeps our channel going. All right, guys, let's see. I miss you guys. Hope you had a beautiful day yesterday. And I hope you have a good day today. Let's see what's going on here. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, thank you for being a part of this reading for the collective all signs. Thank you for giving us messages of truth, clarity, love, and light, blocking and binding all witchcraft and wickedness away from our lives and away from this channel. And thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face and abundance and overflow. Amen. Let's see what's going on. And good morning. It's morning here. So good morning, good afternoon, or wherever you are. Wow. Let's see what happened here. And this is my deck, the Love and Word deck. So if you're interested in purchasing it, just email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. It's a love oracle deck. Okay, guys. So you gave in. Let me wipe this off. So you gave in to me way too easy. I was prepared to do so much more. Wow. Okay. So I feel like somebody feels like you let them in too quick. Somebody could feel like you didn't make them work for their, the opportunities that you gave them. Maybe they wanted to do more. I feel like maybe you just were in this easygoing energy, like letting things flow. And this person is used to people making them I guess do a lot. I don't feel like you gave this person sex for some of you. I just feel like maybe you were nice to this person. Maybe you um, let down your guard a bit quick and let them in. Talk to them about a lot. Maybe they, maybe they got in close to you way too easy and they feel like you do that all the time or something. It's just some kind of awkward energy here where somebody is used to somebody putting them through the ringer. So when they expected this from you, it didn't happen. It threw them off. Next, toxic player, narcissist warning. Okay, so I feel like somebody is a player here. Somebody um, likes their cake and eat it too. Somebody is more focused on themselves, um, getting narcissistic supply. They like to get your attention. Somebody really is not that serious here or thinking about fully investing. Okay, um, let's find out a little bit about this energy before we move on. And that explains the page of wands energy that we had at the bottom of the deck all right but we're going to move on and we're going to clarify it with the tarot but first let's get some feelings out here to see what's on this divine masculine or divine feminine's mind spirit show my collective what they need to see about this divine masculine divine feminine energy so it looks like somebody here is thinking that they're not able to give you what you need maybe somebody is doubtful about this being able to work Somebody could be in this hermit type energy. I'm getting Scorpio or Virgo, um, Capricorn possibly. Um, but somebody here is feeling lack here and feeling very doubtful on if they're going to be able to move forward with you, if you're going to take them seriously, um, if this will ever work. Somebody is trying, they're dealing with a lot of um, darkness around them. I feel like this person is going through a hard time in their lives and they got all these other people over here being influential to them or influencing them it's just a lot around them i feel like this person has a lot of responsibilities and they're not able to really fully focus on something serious you gave it to me way too easy why is that here 
reunion, soul ties. I feel like somebody wanted to reunite with you. Um, and I feel like maybe somebody else moved too quick. So somebody here feels like you gave in too soon. Like you should have been a bit standoffish, a bit guarded. And they, they're concerned because they don't want it to be easy for somebody else to get into you, you know, or something of that nature. It makes them think like twice. I think it kind of made them back off. This person likes a challenge or something like that. Um, but yeah, it said they were prepared to do so much more to get closer to you. Toxic player, narcissist warning. I feel like this person is very self-absorbed, very self-centered. And I feel like you realize that. You realize that about this person. So I feel like you're taking your time and you're stepping back anyway. I mean, just because you're open and kind-hearted and you don't play games doesn't mean that you're stupid. Okay? Not at all. Let's see. Let's see what else wants to come out here. What else is a collective with a no spirit about this person? Do you miss me? Do you remember the good times? So they want to know if you miss them. Do you think about them? Do you remember the good times that you guys had together? Um, and I feel like if they have to ask this, you don't really show them how you feel. Remember awakening. Um, so I feel like you may, maybe you do remember, but you're going through a spiritual awakening. So there's a lot of things that you're blocking out. You're trying to elevate and balance your energy and you're trying to keep these low vibrational energies out of your face. You know, some of these people are immature with passion and they don't really care. They're very lustful and it's a distraction. It really is. It can be. This came out again. So somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening and somebody also is remembering, thinking about you. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else Spirit wants to tell you, what may be coming towards you, or what else you may need to know about this particular energy. Let's get a couple monology cards to see what's happening here. So we got communication is key. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini here, but I feel like it's important for you guys to communicate. I feel like somebody is kind of hot and cold and they flip the script on you a lot. So it's kind of confusing and it also kind of, it's a kind of a turn off. It's just like, are we in or out? Are we up or down? Is this going to work or is it not going to work? Like, it's like a lot to keep up with, with this person's energy. They're wishy-washy. Show me more spirit about this reunion. The energy is gaining momentum. So I feel like somebody does want to see you and they probably are trying to fight it. They're not trying to let you know how they really feel, but pretty soon they're going to be reaching out to you. They want to connect with you. They want to go out. They miss you. All right. And I feel like this person is trying to avoid this. They're trying to ignore their feelings because they have a lot on their plate. Let me see what else. What else here is spirit for collective? Hold on to your vision. So I feel like you may be manifesting love. You may see something with this person, but you also are trying to ignore it because of how wishy-washy this person is. But hold on to your vision is definitely telling you, um, just keep believing. Don't give up. Don't give up on love just because this doesn't work or it's a little bit challenging finding the right person for you. Spirit is saying, don't give up. Keep going, keep moving forward and keep believing, okay? Let's see what else. Do you miss me? Do you remember the good times? What is happening with this situation? Wow. A new romantic cycle begins. Could be dealing with the Libra. But somebody here wants to revisit your connection. They want to know if you remember them. Do you remember having fun with them? They want to see how you're feeling. What's going on? And if you guys are able to move forward. Okay? Doesn't have to be a Libra. But somebody definitely is about to come back your way. They want you to remember all the good times you guys had. Surrender to the divine is here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like surrender to the divine is letting you know to trust in divine timing and release control. Let these things unfold naturally. Okay. Let's go ahead and tap into the tarot and see what your tarot spread is saying to you today. All right, I'm a bit quiet today. I'm, I'm a bit calm because it's early in the morning and I really don't want to be too loud. I don't want to wake my daughter up. She works really hard in school and at work. 
so I don't want to wake her up. All right, guys. So let's see what else is here. It's a tarot spread. Ancestor spirit, guys. Holy angels. Thank you. Show me clear messages for my collective lovies. All signs, all placements. What do they need to know about this energy or what's going on around them? What don't they see? High priestess. And we got the high priestess in reverse here. Somebody's intuition could be blocked right now. Feel like somebody's name could begin with a J or B. Um, or have that sound. You know, the, the J sound or the B sound. All right, so I also feel like somebody could be dealing with a Pisces, but I feel like somebody's intuition is blocked. I feel like somebody feels like they can't think clearly here. Um, somebody here is, yeah, I feel like their intuition is blocked when it comes to this relationship, when it comes to love, or maybe they're dealing with somebody who has their intuition blocked, somebody that they need to step away from. Why is the high priestess here in reverse? Yeah, I feel like this person could have a lot going on in their energy. They could be um, swayed away from paying attention to this soulmate connection that's right in front of their face. I feel like they have a lot of different energies pulling at them, so they can't really hear their intuition at this time. I feel like right now, somebody's being called to listen to their inner self, um, pull your energy inward, and trust your intuition, and try to focus so you can be able to see what's coming towards you and what's going on around you somebody doesn't realize the potential here somebody doesn't look at this the sun because i feel like somebody has exactly what they want right in front of their face and it's something like hidden in plain sight it's right here obtainable to somebody but they're not seeing it could be a gemini could be a water sign could be a leo could be a pisces but i feel like there's something right in front of you look heartbreak Wow. So let's see. The Two of Cups talks about a romantic connection, talks about a soulmate connection, talks about um, an undeniable bond, okay? Somebody on the same page. And it also talks about a relationship. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. It also talks about illumination, something um, high vibration or somebody that makes you very happy. Um, and then we have heartbreak here. Could have been some type of communication that pierced somebody's heart. This is talking about hurt feelings, um, challenging times, something unfavorable when it comes to love. Also, a breakup or some type of deception. Let's see. Why is the high priestess in reverse spirit? Why is the high priestess in reverse? Temperance. So somebody's holding back because they feel like their intuition is blocked right now. Somebody's holding back because they have a lot of different energies pulling at them and they're paying more attention to that than they are what could really make them happy. For some reason, this person is sacrificing themselves for other people's happiness. I feel like they want to know if you remember the good times and pretty soon they will be coming towards you. I feel like but right now they're holding back because they're still blocked. All right, show me the Two of Cups energy. Why is it here? Look at this. Hermit. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, the Hermit is usually Virgo. And I feel like this Hermit is looking right at this Temperance card. Somebody holding back from them deliberately. Somebody, The Hermit is also realizing that this situation may not have enough love and attraction to keep going. Could be a bit of unrequited love here. So somebody could feel one way, but the other person may not feel the same way. Show me what this temperance card is saying. Yeah, the, this Virgo or this hermit energy, somebody's a very intuitive and you're realizing that this situation is a missed opportunity. Because this person is blocked. You realize this person is holding back. They don't want your offer. Possibly, I feel like this is a blessing from God and somebody who doesn't see that. They're already consumed with all these other things. So they're kind of ignoring this connection. They don't want it. It's like they, they don't want to take it. Show me the hermit, please. This person is willing to have passion, but they don't want a relationship. Okay. Somebody's not wanting to settle down here. Show me the sun. 
Yeah. Somebody's getting the clarity that somebody wants to stay single. Okay. Or this is a single um, earth sign energy here that is single, happily single. You know, somebody that is very happily single. Show me the nine of pentacles. Somebody could feel stuck in their head or trapped, mentally going through a lot. Somebody is purposely keeping themselves stuck in a situation. They're making themselves feel like they don't have any other options. It's like they're not paying attention to the fact that they can just get out of this easily, but they're not. They're keeping themselves trapped. I feel like somebody here is clinging to their comfort zone. Absolutely. I feel like when it comes to this third party, this person likes... I feel like this person is happy as they are. They don't mind being friends, but they don't want anything serious here. I feel like this person is smug. They feel like they are they have the best of both worlds. They get have their cake and eat it too. Um, I feel like this person, yeah, is pretty consumed right now. Show me the heartbreak. Yeah, a new beginning. So somebody could be feeling like it's it's the time is approaching to start something new. Because I feel like this person is stuck in something that they don't enjoy being in. They feel very trapped. The sun card, three of wands, I feel like somebody is trying to gain momentum, gaining more clarity here so they can step out and leave these situations behind that no longer serve them. This could be also somebody that has obligations or told somebody that they're in a relationship, but then they leave this person or these people behind and go out and venture off. But um, overall, the Three of Wands energy is talking about you being motivated, you being courageous, you believing in yourself enough to step out and take a leap of faith and see what's out there. Two of Cups, wow. Somebody definitely sees you as emotional fulfillment or they want emotional fulfillment, but the Ten of Pentacles is not here. So they don't mind being together, um, being in union, sharing love and sharing pleasures. But as far as Ten of Pentacles, longevity and building together, they are not ready for that. Show me the High Priestess in reverse again. Somebody is waiting. They're investing. Somebody is investing and they're waiting um, for the turnout that they expect. I feel like they're waiting for something here. Something that they've been building up on or investing in. They're waiting for a positive turnout. I feel like this person put a lot of energy into something and they're waiting for a positive turnout to see what happens. Somebody's investing money, time, energy. They're waiting for justice. Somebody could be dealing with the court case. Somebody could be just waiting for a situation to get better for them. I feel like this could have something to do with children. Pinnacles talk about children, I feel like. And also we saw... The um, sun card with the little baby on there. So it could be something. Maybe they're waiting for their child to get older. It's something that they're waiting for. And once this happens, then they'll feel like they have justice and can move forward. Interesting. Very interesting situation. But I feel like this person eventually is going to be coming towards you. This person is going to want to talk to you. They're thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about coming towards you. Yeah, somebody also could be getting over some type of cold or sickness, um, but it's something that they're keeping to themselves, secretly thinking about you, I feel, and wanting to come towards you, but they're not telling you because they're not ready yet. All right, lovies, this was your, <laughs> this is your information here, your reading. This is very interesting, but I feel like there's a lot of love and mutual attraction here. But this person just isn't ready. Let's get your self-love affirmation card. It says, we are one. Look up at the moon. The same moonlight connects us all. And I feel like this person is deep like that. Very sensual. Very um, spiritual. It says, in the end, we are all we are more similar than we are different. We're in this together. So I feel like this person feels like you both are going through the same things. Feel like They feel like you both are elevating and overcoming obstacles. Um, and it's important for you guys to complete that before you come together. So this person is pretty wise, all right? And I feel like they're attractive too, all right? And you like this person's energy. So we'll find out a little later, I guess, when this energy comes back out, what's going on with this person and what may happen um, between you. Um, but I do want to ask Spirit something. Spirit, what... 
does the collective need to know? Well, how should they move forward with this connection when this person comes around? Wow. Spirit is saying just show love, be loving and kind, and just see what happens. Look, eventually when they come around, they're going to offer you this relationship. They're going to realize what they've been missing and what they deserve. And eventually, they're going to be offering you. They're going to make an offer. So prepare for this, Collective. I was interested in knowing. And they're going to want to heal things after ignoring this for so long. Yeah. feel like you're blocked off to any lover situations. You're very spiritual. So you're blocking off this lover situation or they're blocking off offering you that low vibrational energy. When they come to you, they're going to come to you dignified and ready for a real commitment, Knight of Cups, an offer, a love offer, expression of love and passion to the Ace of Pentacles, longevity, a relationship, marriage, and a future building together. All right? But right now, this person is soul searching. All right, loveys, that's your message. I love you so much. If you would like a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. Closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com is how you book me. All right, guys, I'm going to post another video, and I will see you sooner than later. Bye, loveys. All right, bye.